Are you suffering from a green pool just like mine? Well, fear not, because in today's episode, I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing this Barracuda Smart Vac Rechargeable Cleaner, which is hopefully going to get all of those debris that I just can't reach with my traditional robot vacuum. Let's open up the box and see how it performs. Nasty, yucky, 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 yucky stuff there. So what does this offer you? Well, this rechargeable cordless vacuum offers you the ability to clean and hard to reach places, which is super important for the steps and for any kind of nooks and crannies that my traditional robot vacuum for any nooks and crannies that my traditional robot vacuum cannot reach. It's lightweight and easy to use apparently. It has a cordless and rechargeable battery which is awesome. I'm really hoping it's already charged up because I don't have any time to spare as you can see with my disgusting green pool. And it does have a pool pole included. So if you don't have a telescopic pool pole, this has one in the box but I wonder how big it's going to be. So let's take a look inside the box. And you're immediately greeted by their pool pole which is extendable and that's only about a meter long. I think I'm going to have to use my telescopic pool pole for this because that is just not going to be big enough. What else do we have inside the box? We've got some instruction manuals, which is great. We've also got the handle so you can hold it, which is nice and comfortable. So I'm guessing that attaches onto the pool pole. What else is inside here? We've got the head of the vacuum. Another extension piece. Let's just empty it all out, shall we? Let's empty it all out. Oh my God. Wow, okay, this is cool. So this is actually where the dirt gets collected into. Now I have heard online that people don't like it because the holes inside the sock are a little bit too big and so some particles are gonna travel through and it doesn't collect the sand and the dust. But quite frankly, I need all the help I can get right now. But if I need to change the sock around, I will, I'll let you know at the end how it performs. It's got its charger. And of course, the piece, the resistance, which is vacuum itself oh yes if you know me you know that i love vacuums and literally <laughs> the best thing about a vacuum is seeing how well it forms at the end all right so let's take a little look at this vacuum itself so you can see it's got a little sticky out thing here which is where you plug onto your telescopic pole i'm assuming it's also got a charging port around here so you can plug it in when you're not using it and it's got an on off button here and then some contraption holes for you to plug in presumably your devices so this dude goes inside here and you twist it around and then on the top of this we pop in the head and it clicks in really nicely that's a pretty easy setup so far then on this side over here we've got to plug in the sock yep easy enough and then it says place on the handle over here and that just clips into place. Now this handle is only useful if you're doing steps or if you're in a really a low area or if you're in a high area, sorry. Whereas if I'm going to be using it, which I am, for the big part of my pool, I'm going to just remove this telescopic part off the handle, like so. I'm going to attach on the extension and I'm just going to use it like so. Now it is not very long and I don't know how it's going to perform with my pool because I have got a deep pool. But for now, I'm just gonna give it a shot and uh, let's see how we go. I'm so excited. My pool is so dirty. Let's take it away and see how this bad boy gets on to collecting the dirt. So we've got our target identified. There is actually some debris there and there's actually a piece of paper, but we're gonna see if we can just pick up the debris first of all. So first impressions using this is, well, you need the long pole because this quite frankly is just too short. And uh, unless you want to have a back surgery by the end of it, you really need a long pole. Second impression is um, it's not as smooth as I would have hoped it to be. So when you are running along the bottom of the pool, you really do have to give it a bit of extra push so that you can get into those little nooks and crannies. But to be quite frank with you, I've just spent literally a minute or even 30 seconds using it. And look how much gunk there is in my bag. Ew. So I'm pretty excited. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use the extension pole and I'm going to clean this pool up like you would not believe. So I don't know if you guys can see that, but when you release the water that's inside the compression sock, you release a lot of dirty, sandy water. So it doesn't have the ability to keep that sand within it and purify the water out. So you're kind of counterintuitive with what you're doing, which is kind of annoying. 
Um, it does have a lot of issues sucking up the sand. There's a lot of sand in this pool, um, but you can see the streaks and I'll show you what I mean, where it does try to clean it. So you can see that it's been trying to suck up the sand like so, but it does leave a film of sand on the water. So immediately you can see just inside the well, it looks dirty, so I'm gonna have to give that a clean. And then let's take a look at the actual sock as well. Let's take a look inside all the gunkiness. Ew, that is pretty gross. Like all of the stuff, I'm just gonna pour it out so you guys can see, but there is lots of nasty, yucky, yucky, yuck, yuck stuff there. So it's done a good job. I mean, there's a lot of probably bird poop. It's gross. <laughs> yuck, that is gross. <laughs> Maybe grass, good bird poop. So it's done something. I'm um, gonna give it a rinse now. So I've been using this handheld run vacuum now for about 15 minutes, which is pretty much half of its actual run time. What are my thoughts? Well, I definitely think that you can't rely on this solely to clean your pool. I think you have to use it in tandem with your robot vacuum cleaner, which is what I'm doing at the moment. Um, in saying that my pool is in a bit of a state, so perhaps if my pool was not in such a big state, this might be more useful. But I guess the issues that I have with it is one, the motor feels really weak. If it was a bit better, I think it would suction up a lot more and not leave so many gaps in the sand that it's collecting. Secondly, the bag, yes, you probably should modify it because the sand just filters through it and that's kind of annoying. Um, and thirdly, I wish this was a bit bigger because I really want to suction up some more gunky stuff, not just the fine little leaves. Definitely need an extension pole to the existing pole that you've had. But you know, in saying that, it's a nifty little gadget to have around your pool. Like I said, if you've just got a couple of leaves here and there and you don't want to get your scooper out, this is probably what you want to be using. But I definitely wouldn't use it on a big task like this because it just is not up for it. But in saying that, I'm just going to carry on going and uh, let's see if I can uh, clean up this pool. Thanks for watching, guys. Let me know if you have your own handheld robot vacuum cleaner and which one do you use and do you find it useful? Because I clearly need some advice on this. <laughs> I'll see you on the next one. Let's keep going, Mr. Vacuum. Come on, SmartVac, show me what you can do.